Alright YouTube, so uh, I wanted to do a review on this KitchenAid dishwasher. It is model number KDTE334GPS. We bought it at Lowe's last month. It was on sale, I believe, for $8.99. And uh, we bought it with the extended warranty because it was $139 for five years. And what that warranty includes is uh, if at any point in that five years anything goes wrong there is zero deductible uh, to get it fixed so they just send someone out here and fix your dishwasher for free and the reason I did that was because the only complaints that I had seen in the reviews were that the motherboard had gone bad and so I wanted to have some added protection a little further out than uh, what KitchenAid offered on their manufacturer's warranty just in case that the motherboard did go out. Uh, the other upside of the warranty is that if you don't make a claim during that five year period they actually mail you a check for 33 percent of what you paid for the warranty so you're gonna get about a 45 dollar check in five years if you never make a claim so if you don't make a claim you know the warranty really only cost you 95 bucks uh, so I thought that was a pretty decent deal as you can see there's a couple notches in the countertop there that is not the dishwasher's fault that is the fault of the fact that the previous owners installed tile in the kitchen and they installed it underneath the old dishwasher they uninstalled the old dishwasher laid tile back in there uh, but obviously they didn't remove the cabinets so because of the height difference that the tile made uh, we were a little short on headroom so if you're cabinets and dishwasher are sitting on the same floor surface uh, you should be fine there shouldn't be a problem at all um, so I want to go ahead and open this thing up and show you just how much it holds it is incredible how much it holds um, but first before I open it the only thing I'm not crazy about is the handle uh, it's it's not unsturdy but it just it doesn't it's not as sturdy as I would like it to be the only thing that's holding it on is a little allen bolt there and a little allen bolt there and they're just they're tapping not even into just onto a pin that comes out and it just sort of clamps it on and you can see it's got a little bit of play in it so I think we're going to end up doing is uh, taking these out putting some Loctite on them and then putting them back in to make sure they don't loosen up and that way if there is any play it's only going to be play in that little knob that sticks out uh, and I don't have to worry about anything loosening up here so open it up got your controls on top uh, usually go with ProWash and uh, extended ProDry so it uses a fan, and as long as you are using a uh, like some kind of finishing solution, you know whether it's like Cascade or Jet Dry or something like that. Uh, as long as you're using that, using the Pro Dry makes such a difference. Everything comes out really nice and dry. There's no spots or anything. It's really nice. Uh, so we've had this in for. I guess about two or three weeks now, and it, it works great. Um, I've been really pleased with it. Um, you can also do a cycle delay. Um, I don't know why you would want to do that, to be honest, unless you needed the hot water right now and didn't have a very large hot water heater, because it's so quiet that you really, uh, you're not going to need to delay it, like if you're going to bed or something. So the bottom holds a ton of stuff. Um, you can see that. It's got just like tons of silverware and you can remove these little things if you don't like having individual slots for your silverware. But lots of plates, got a pan, splatter screen, bowls, saucers. 
Everything on the inside is stainless steel. It's really, really nice. Um, the screen in the bottom is plastic, but uh, pretty much you know, stainless steel tub. The spray arms are stainless steel. It's really nice. So come up here, pull this out. It glides so smoothly. It's so nice. So pull that out. Got this extra little drawer back here. If you need to put some kind of utensil or something, I haven't really found much of a use for that, but it's there. I've also got these water jets uh, that you can see here. Here and they're interspersed throughout that side so that if you've got something that needs to go on the top but is really soiled, you can set it over those and it'll get a lot of extra spray. Uh, so this top rack holds quite a bit. And then what I have found to be just indispensable after having it is this third rack where you can fit even more stuff. You can fit stuff that takes up a lot of room you know, but is flat, uh, like Tupperware lids, or another big splatter screen, or sippy cup lids, or bottle tops, or nipples, or knives. It's, uh, it's been really good. This edition, even though it takes away a little bit of the height from this top rack, uh, has really been excellent in allowing us to maximize what we can get in it. And everything up here you know, is always clean and dry. This thing, this top rack works really well. So, close that up. Close that up. And once you get it there, you've got to push it just a little bit further to get it to seat onto where the water actually comes in. Right there, if you can see that. So, I'm going to close it up and start it. Just so you can see how quiet it is. Let's get our detergent in here. Close that. And now we wait, and you can see just how quiet this thing operates. It's incredible how quiet it is. Can you hear it? It's on. You can probably hear the sink more than you can hear the dishwasher. That's the stool that I'm sitting on. I'm scooting it back. Put it down here. You might be able to hear the water coming in. Alright, so we've skipped ahead about a minute so that you guys don't have to just sit and watch my dishwasher. Uh, so it's in the cycle now. And that's how quiet it is. It's unbelievably quiet. So it's just washing away in there. I think it's uh, listed at 39 decibels. And it is just insanely quiet. You can have a conversation. You can watch TV. You can go to bed. It doesn't matter. It's super, super quiet. I really like it. It does a great job cleaning. And uh, is just incredibly quiet. So if you can catch one of these on sale, I would highly recommend it. I would also recommend the warranty just on the off chance that the motherboard does go out. But... Uh, so far, so good on ours. So, uh, hope you like this. Hope it helps aid in your appliance shopping. And uh, if it helped you out, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later.